All right. Ooh, gosh, we're crooked. Let's fix that. It's probably been crooked this whole time. Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. It's Friday for you. It's Wednesday for me. Um, I had a sale yesterday. I'm not having a sale today, so I'm going to get all of my shipping done from yesterday's sale today. And we are going to pull items for next Tuesday's and Wednesday's sale. So we're going to do that together. So this is my Friday vlog. We're going to do a little bit of shipping. We'll do a little bit of pulling items for next week's sale. Um, it's a little after 7 o'clock in the morning. It's still dark outside because we're in the midst of winter. I'm on my way to the shop to get this day started. So let's go. Come along with me and enjoy this beautiful winter day unseasonably warm actually so it's not it's actually pretty good so let's go let's go and let's go get some stuff done today all right we just walked into the shop we're gonna walk gonna walk up to the front to turn on the lights and oh you know what before I do I'm gonna take you out because I didn't take a picture of this or anything and while it's still a little bit dark I wanted to show you the front window or I guess at least why the lights are still showing up, but there's the front window. We're not open to the public, but we still <laughs> we still do decorate our windows a little bit, but these are just flat trees that my husband made. But no, yeah, we don't we're not open to the public, but we still do try to keep our our windows decorated for the holidays. Okay, now we'll turn on the light. Whew, that there be light. So one thing that I want to do, and I, 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 I'm, I'm waiting till after the first of the year, and I'm trying to figure out a day. It could possibly be on the Fridays that I am not going to be out shopping. So I'm going to try to stay in-house every other week. So I might do a shop my shop on a Friday on a Monday, I don't quite know. And it may not be every week, but basically I'll walk around and we'll just kind of pull things up and we'll sell it right then and there because the front of the shop um, is where I would have pop-up shops. So I'm going to have another one this spring. Um, it'll be, I'll change the displays up a little bit, but like I still have Thanksgiving things and some Halloween things peeking up up there, but so we'll make the seasonal things go away. Well, hello, Mr. Lee Liberace. How you doing? It's going to be a good day. Oh, there's all my bubble wrap. American Bubble Boy is the best bubble wrap. There is a link to, if you need some really good bubble, bubble wrap, they will hook you up. I get two different sizes. I get the, um, the medium bubble and no, the large bubble and the medium bubble. And it arrives to you just like this. I get a pack of four. I even use this outside material for packing material in some of my boxes. So American Bubble Boy, there is a link. You'll have a discount code if you order with my link. So it is down in the description below. But American Bubble Boy is great. I'm just going to give them another little plug. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at our list. I, I sold 20 things yesterday. And so it shouldn't take me very long. Um, and all of that actually here on the shelf. So we've got things like the kitty bank, um, it's beautiful head vase, a Viking pig. So I've got some littles. Uh, maybe I'll show you how I do the jewelry and some of these small things and the glass things. What do I have? Maybe the Viking console bowl. I mean, I don't have anything that's necessarily a difficult thing to ship, which is great for me, but we'll do some shipping on some things. This was a jewelry box that someone had asked me about that they to change their mind about, so I'm going to put it over here with the other ones. And I still, I sold two of them, but I'm just going to show them again real quick. So there's this little one with the, um, like a tapestry there this that's just a little small like vinyl one this one with the uh, scroll work with that like disco ball like mirror this little like hammered metal wooden and metal whoops one there it's wood and it's got this like hammered metal over the top of it 
And then this one that has this fancy golden drawers. Um, and then this is a little recipe box, a wooden recipe box that says recipes. And then this is a nice one too. This is an old one. Actually, I think this is a um, silverware drawer keeper. But you could use it as a jewelry box. I think it's made out of walnut. It's got the handles on the sides there. So those are the ones that are still that I still have available. After we do a little bit of the shipping, we'll go over and we're going to pull some things for my live sale on Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern with Michael the Cult of Vintage. And then Wednesday sale is also at 1 o'clock Eastern, and it is with Mary Beth and Laura from Fat Bird Finds. It's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. So um, we're going to pull, well, we'll be pulling 40 things all together today. Um, but you know, as we're pulling things from the shelves, then if you see anything that I don't pull, you know, you can send me an email and ask me about it. Thrifter junk or vintage hunter at gmail.com. All right. So I'm going to open up my computer, check through some emails, um, just to make sure I, you know, I'm before I start shipping things, if there's any messages regarding these items, um, and then we'll go ahead and get shipping and invoicing first. That way, maybe it'll give people some time to pay. Um, and then I can just load the stuff up with me and take it to the post office first thing in the morning or possibly even this afternoon. Oh, I did get a little gift from To Be Smiley. She sent me this really nice note. She's got a dog named Bob. And I love Bob. But it's Barbara. And she sent me, oh my gosh, look at the hillbilly pixie. She said that she needed to send me a Southern version. <laughs> I love him. So I'm going to take him home today. And then she sent me this little cupie here. I'll add that to my little collection. I love his little blue wings. And some fun ornaments. There's a shell ornament that someone's painted like Santa. And this little, oops, little ball, foil ball. This little um, wooden plaque ornament season's greetings and another fun santa and i love this look at those lashes hi boys and girls i love her so that was awfully sweet got a card from katie and louie from vintage and vinyl and a card from betty look at those beautiful cardinals and look a card from barb that's just like old barb isn't that so cute with her yellow rushton Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So thank you so much. All right, so before we get shipping, I'm going to get my winter package paper and stuff ready. So I've got this um, Christmas, well, winter trees. They're not Christmas trees. They're winter trees. So I've got that. And I buy these from Jilson Roberts. And I get them on Amazon. And they come in these really big sheets. So I cut them in half. And I also have this little winter design here with the deer and the evergreen. I have a couple of sheets that I've already cut in half. It's the little things sometimes that make me happy when you ship. I learn like all this stuff. I, my inspiration is Melissa from Fresh Blooming Clothing. So if you're not following her, she does incredible shipping videos. She sells mainly jewelry on eBay, but she goes through and her shipping videos are just very relaxing to watch. And she like she's given me the inspiration to um, you know do a little something extra with your packages. It does help make your shipping just a little bit more enjoyable. So you don't have to you know, put tissue paper and all that kind of stuff. It is an extra expense that you do have to take into consideration. Um, but it is a tax deduction as well because it is part of your business. So you can, you know, write these things off on your taxes as a business expense. But it makes shipping a little bit more tolerable. I mean, I like shipping. It's like the whole completion process, I think, that is one of the things that I like about it. But so these are the the papers that I'm using right now are those two that I showed you. And then I have these little winter berries here, like holly berry and stuff. And then I have some snowmen. So those are what I'm using. I need to grab some blue. Or maybe I'll use, maybe I'll use the black. I need to use up that black. So that will go with the snowmen. So put that on my little holder there. 
So the first thing that we're going to ship out today is a little sweetest bird. There he is. And we're going to, I got him a little box, a six by six by four box. I did just restock my box shelf. And that makes me happy too, having that shelf restocked. It's the little things in life sometimes. Okay, I'm going to tune, no, I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So here we got our little bird, and I do lay out my bubble wrap on the table. Um, I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put some paper on the bottom, on the bottom of the box. Just water that. Again, all of the supplies that I use are linked in the description down below. Um, and Amazon, I get everything on Amazon, so you can follow those links if you want to, to use the things that I use. I've tried many different things, and the things that I have on my list are the things that I do use. So, put the paper down in there, and then I've got two squares of bubble wrap, which will be just fine. So, we're going to lay our little bird down. We're going to cover him up. Sweet dreams, little bird. You'll be, you'll be in your new home before too long. We're going to tuck it and roll it, and then we'll tape it there at the end. This I've talked about before. Game changer. It's a double tape roll. It's got a little place where you can keep your pins. This will save you a lot of frustration. It's also linked in Amazon. And then I just fold the sides over because I don't cut them off because I think that adds a little bit of extra padding. And... We'll just go ahead and use a blue, since we were talking about the blue snowman. All right, and then we'll just wrap it up. Doesn't have to be, I am not the best wrapper. You ask anybody that gets a gift from me, and they will tell you that Misty cannot wrap a present to save her life. I really can't. I'm not good at it. But it just makes, when someone's opening up their package, it's like they bought themselves a present. All right, and I'm going to use some of this black tool. I do get the, the tubes of tool on Amazon as well in these big rolls. They last quite a long time. Then I am going to also include your ever important business card. Oh, well, those are all, we'll stick them back on there in a minute. So it doesn't take much. You know, someone can stick this up as a little reminder, get them through, but there we go. We're going to stick it in the box on our little nest of paper. Put another piece of paper on top of that. Oh, no, we got to have the box. The box has to be taped in the same direction. That will bug me. Someone asked in another video where I got this guy from, and I did get it from Amazon. I don't think I have it linked. I'll try to remember to link it, but it's just Pro Sun. It's just a metal um, tape dispenser. I used to like the cheap ones that came with the tape, but then mine kept breaking, so I decided to get a heavy-duty one. So we can see here it is 10.5 ounces, so we're going to round up to 11 ounces. We'll write that on there, and then this is a 6 by 6 by 4 box. Write that in pencil, and then I will write the... The buyer's name on here and we will get this going I do use pirate ship um, and then I will send them they pay me through PayPal and I use pirate ship as my shipping provider and then I will um, put the if you put the buyer's email in pirate pirate ship as part of the information it saves all of your information so if they buy from you again you'll already have their information and you just hit duplicate shipment and then you add in the new dimensions and the weights of your boxes and you just, you know, keep doing that with your customer bank. Um, and then I will send them an invoice through PayPal. So I will, Pirate Ship will automatically send them a tracking number once you purchase the, the, the once you go ahead and purchase the shipping or the, the, once you purchase the label is what I was trying to say. You don't have to purchase it. It will save it. And then you go back to it and when once they've paid, and then that's when you get charged for it. And then that's when they will send out the tracking number if you add their email address. 
I do, I also go ahead and send them a tracking number through PayPal. So if you don't have your notifications turned on through PayPal, you probably, your customers probably are not getting their notifications and that's why you might get questions asking about a tracking number. So if you do, then just remind them to turn on their notifications and then they'll get that email. But they're getting two, essentially they're getting two um, tracking information because they're getting it from Pirate Ship if you provide that email in their label and they're getting it from PayPal. So, but you know, sometimes you still get asked and you're gracious and you answer their question because they're your customer. And it, while it may kind of bug you because you're like, ah, oh, they, they're getting an email from me. Just send them their, their tracking number. It won't take you but a second. Okay. Just, just be nice and send it to them. All right, so let's go on with the next item. Okay, the next item is this beautiful swan. It's an art glass swan. And since he's got kind of a precarious long neck, we're gonna use a little bit of paper first. Let's go ahead and aim this down. So he's got this long neck here. So I wanna protect that a little bit in shipping. So I'm gonna roll up a piece of paper and we're gonna wrap, kind of wrap it around it his neck a little bit just to give his neck a little bit of stability and then we're going to use three sheets of bubble wrap I'm going to wrap them in his bubble wrap tuck and roll tape it down fold the sides up and then we're going to feel it and see if it feels like he might need a little bit more bubble wrap I think he does I'm going to take a couple more sheets. And then where I taped him, I'm going to go the opposite side and do another tuck and roll. I like to not overly, this is a little tip here too. Don't overly tape your bubble wrap, all right? For a couple reasons. One, one, is it's very frustrating for your customer to open their item if they have to get through layers and layers of tape. You don't have to put layers and layers of tape to make it a secure package. I typically just use three pieces of tape. One to hold it and then one for each side. All right, that's all. The uh, The second reason is if you're a buy or if you're selling it to someone that might be a reseller um, or have other uses for the bubble wrap, they can easily get the tape off and then they can recycle the bubble wrap. So in my mind, that's what's making me, you know, I, in my mind, I think everybody recycles it and they reuse it again. So that's kind of the reason, but the main reason is it is kind of, think about it. If you've all gotten a package where it's a little irritating when you have to unwind the tape for three hours to uh, get your item. You know, you want to see your item. You want to unwrap it. But I like the fact of knowing that, you know, they can reuse it again. All right, so we're going to use some black tool again. Oh, come on, scissors. Wrap that around our swan. Use a business card. I'm going to put one of these fun little napkins on here. These napkins stand up. I got them at Goodwill too, but and they're napkins, but they're cute. There we go. So the, for this one, I'm using a 7x7x6 seven by seven by box. You can get these free from USPS. I've added my paper down there at the bottom. So I'm going to put that in there like so. I'm going to kind of put this paper, I'm going to tuck it down on the sides a little bit too to protect, to protect it. And then we're going to see, it's not making any sound. We don't want to hear any, we don't want to hear anything moving around inside. Now you can only use the priority boxes if your item is going to weigh over a pound. And I knew that this was going to, and it, and I, and it did. It weighs one pound. 11.1 um, ounces. Yeah. So we're going to say, we're going to round up and it's going to weigh one pound and 12 ounces. So I'm going to write that on the box, 1.12. That's a seven by seven by six box. I know what size it is, but just for the sake of the video, 
and I will get a, a pile of these boxes. I'll write the customer's name. I'll get a pile of these boxes and then I'll sit down and I'll do the invoices. I usually do like six and then I'll send invoices and then I'll do six more and send out invoices. So this one is ready to go and we're going to move on to the next. Hi guys. The next item we have is this beautiful, look at this, it's a Kimple um, pressed glass mayo bowl with the spoon. So this has, this is a dish, so we're going to fill in the void. And you can use paper, you can use bubble wrap. I like the packing paper. We're going to fill that void. It just gives a little bit of integrity um, when you're shipping it. So it's not like this hollow thing that can be banged up against something and like, oh, there's something in that. I don't know if that's a scientific fact, but that just is what I believe. So now we're gonna lay this down. We're gonna put the spoon aside. We'll wrap it separate. And I'm gonna lay this down on its side. You know the drill. Tuck and roll. And there we go. Three pieces of tape. One. Two. Three. Now we got the spoon. Now, bubbles for me, and I know for a lot of other people, the bubbles on your bubble wrap go on the inside because it cushions the thing that's on the inside. So I'm going to lay my spoon down there diagonally, fold one corner over, and roll it. One piece of tape. Right there. So there we go. So this one, I'll show you. I'm not going to wrap it in tissue paper, but we'll still make it, we'll still make it fancy, or we'll still make it look eye appealing when they open up their package. Put a little bit of tool. And you may say, well, I ship so many packages. I don't have time to do that. I ship sometimes 60, 70 packages in a day, and I still do this. You don't, like I said, you don't have to do it, but if you hate shipping, maybe give it a try. It might make shipping a little bit more enjoyable. So we're going to stick our cards in there and then I'm going to, um, I'm also going to put a piece of tool over the ribbon on the spoon uh, because I, uh, it makes it look nice, but honestly too. So it's like, oh, there's something else in here. Don't forget. This is something too. It's not just a wadded piece of bubble wrap. So I think that this is going to fit in a seven by seven by six priority. I, I before I tape the top of the lid, the top of the box, we're going to see. I think it's going to weigh over a pound. Yeah, it already does without me putting more paper in it. So it because I also have non-priority seven by seven by six boxes um, that you know you have to buy. These you can get for free, but if it doesn't. You know, you can't, if it's not over a pound, if it's under a pound, you can't ship it in a priority box. You have to ship it in just a brown box. So we are going to put some paper on the side there. I'm going to tuck that spoon in on top. I want to get, make sure the sides are all protected. And then we'll put some paper over the top. Close it up. Doesn't make any sound. Make sure that our scale is to zero. What I do with my pencil. One pound, 6.6 .6 ounces. So we're going to say one pound, seven ounces. Seven by seven by six. Write the name on. Go on to the next. Next on board are these cute little boat shakers with a little boy and girl on it. I'm thinking that one sheet of bubble wrap will do on each of these. And with smaller things like this, I typically will put the bubble wrap diagonally and I'll go up and then I'll put each side over and then tuck and roll. One piece of tape, set it aside. And do the same for the next. Put it diagonally, almost like a diaper. Holding it almost like you would a diaper on a baby. One piece of tape. So there we go. Then I will take tissue paper, lay these both on there, 
wrap them both together. The tissue paper provides some protection as well. So not only does it, you know, it look nice, especially when you wrap it like me and you're kind of like rolling it up, it does provide a little bit of protection from it as well. There we go. Let's use a red ribbon. There's still some red on this paper. I've been crooked this whole time. I'm sorry. We're going to do Lucky Kitty. Ow, ow, ow. He is very cute with those green eyes, and he has a 1957 penny on him. He's a lucky kitty. So I don't know. He may fit in a 7x7x6 seven seven box. We're going to try to because it does, the size of the box does matter, the weight and the dimensions of the box. So I will see which box it will comfortably fit in. Maybe the seven by seven by six. He's definitely gonna weigh over a pound, so that's why I know that. But possibly a 10 by eight by six. I use a 10 by eight by six box a lot. So I have a sheet of probably five bubble wraps. And we're gonna point the camera down. We're gonna lay you down, little kitty. You're gonna go to your new home. So we're gonna, okay, good night. We're gonna cover you up. There you go. You're gonna tuck and roll. Gonna go for a ride, wee! Have all of the items packaged up to ship now I'm gonna sit I've got them all kind of stacked up all around me and I'm gonna sit here on my computer and I'm going to send out invoices um, and then we'll put them over on the table we'll see if anybody else has has paid before I get up to walk around to pick the items for tomorrow's sale so let's do the invoices now. All right, I have labels printed out of people that have paid so far. So I've lined up my boxes here for the people that I'm still waiting on payment. I mean, I just sent them an invoice. But these people have paid, so I've got that box ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna pick some things for this week's sale. So I need 20 things, so I have a box sitting up here so we're going to pick the things first for tuesday sale and i'm going to do blue so we're looking for blue things we're going to do blue because blue is the color of winter and it'll be after christmas so that's what we're going to do so that being said as i pull things if you see anything that you might be interested in you can send me an email and ask me about it but um we're going to focus on blue things Let's turn the camera around. I see one thing, and that is this big blue swung vase. This beautiful blue swung vase. I did just get this. So that's going to be one. One. What else? Let's do the cut to clear. Um, and I'm going to do these as I I'll probably will do them as choice. So this will be considered two. They are, um, or maybe I'll do them as a set. No, because they're not exactly matching. So that's two. Two. What else? Uh, we'll do the blue fairy lamp. I like this one. It's, it's, it's a round one, but it's blue. So that'll be three. Different shades of blue. That's okay. They're still blue. Three. Um, got that. That's kind of a light Fenton blue opalescent. Hmm. I do have a piece of Nautilus. We could do the Nautilus. Shall we do the Nautilus? Look at that seashells on the bottom. So let's do that. Now, can't we can't do all fancy because not everybody likes fancy. 
So we've got four. And it doesn't all have to be like blue glass. Like, you know, it can, we can do like blue um, planters, which we'll go over there in a minute. Um, I, let's see what else. I got this really pretty. Look at that. Not pretty. It's Fenton. Little Fenton. With those bubbles on it. Maybe we'll do that. All right, so what else we got over here? Let's look at some of the, of the stuff. We've got some blue things over here. Like, we've got this Gobel Blue Bird. So we'll do... I don't think I had... I, I had a couple. I bought a couple of these Gobel Birds, but I believe I sold one. So I've got this guy left. So we'll do... Oh, you know what? We've got, also got... This blue Tanala, the bluebird, Mexican pottery. Ooh, birds, bluebirds. Put you in our box. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's seven. How about a blue thermos? That's blue. That's a nice thermos, too. How about, see, I've got this blue butterfly sun catcher. We could do that. That's pretty. I think that would be so pretty in, like, a kitchen window. Is that the light coming through? All right, so we'll do the blue butterfly. We've got some blue birds. Oh, you know what else we have? We have a blue glass turtle. We do. Should we do the blue glass turtle and the blue butterfly? We also have a Talk Town assorted chocolates. Ooh, maybe we should do a chocolate box. Okay. Dirty old men need love too. They sure do. Long time no she. God bless our camper. Are you a blue camper? You're a yellow camper. We've got this blue, little blue dish here. I don't know. We've got a gore, um, this Cordy piece. She's got blue on her, but I don't know if she fits into that category. We do have, I don't know what the interest would be on these, but I've got some really pretty blue ashtrays. I've got that one and I've got like that Serrano style one. I don't know. I'm going to like think oh how about a blue doll with her little baby she's like a little rag doll with her little baby down here we could do her how about jean jeans jean jeans paper dolls she's blue maybe we might do you i've got some toys down here i meant to have a toy sale around Christmas time and just never did. Okay, oh, you know what? We could do this. I love this. Look at this coffee canister. It's this beautiful teal blue. Um, I don't know who, I don't even know if it says who, but it's like plastic. We'll throw that in there. We'll put baby doll in there. And then we've got these things. Here in a minute, I'll take my box over and we will assess. You know what? Why not do a blue bird? A bird. Oh, we got a blue cat. We have a blue cat. And we'll do a blue bird of happiness. Two from This one's from 2000. Oh, we've got blue salt and pepper shakers. We've got these boats. Well, the boats are on a blue base. They're from Mankato, Minnesota. Mankato! Isn't that where Laura Ingalls Wild... Didn't Laura... Didn't they always have to go into Mankato to, like, get supplies on Little House on the Prairie? This is made in Occupy Japan, so we'll do the boats. Do we have any... Are you blue? Well, you are. You've got blue and green stones. We'll do, maybe we'll do a couple brooches. Oh, we got a blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. 
You're cute. You used to hang in my bathroom. We'll put you in the box. Oh, you know what? I could do this. This Pyrex. You're blue. I don't know what pattern this is. It's Pyrex and it's blue. We'll set you over here. We'll do you. And I got blue Fire King mugs. I have this blue coffee set. That would take up, this takes up a lot of shelf space. Maybe we should do the blue coffee set. I wish you had your sugar and one more cup, but you do not. I want to say, um, I don't know, something Japan. I'll have to look and see if I can see that. All right, let's, let me get this stuff over here safely and I'll start taking it out of the box and then we will reassess and see how many more things we need to grab. I am going to grab this though. Oh, and I got those too. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to reassess and I'll be back. All right, so this is what we've got going on here for Tuesday's sale. So Tuesday's sale will be all of these things. So we've got the blue swung vase, blue bird of happiness, the blue thermos. Well, let's do a little pan over. I did pull a couple. This is like a crystal icy blue biscuit jar that I think is beautiful. We've got our little blue glass cat, long neck cat, our Pyrex, our Gobel, the Fenton, the Nautilus dish. I went ahead and pulled these guys too. They're Smoky Bear salt and pepper shakers with their original stoppers. I thought that was really, that would be fitting as well. And then the little perfume bottle here, the, Czechoslo the Cut to Clear Czechoslovakia uh, Cobalt. The chocolate box, the turtle, the fairy lamp, the, t the Mexican pottery. So these are, I think, 22 items. I might need that. I think we normally do. Well, I think we normally, we've been doing 22 items. So this will be Wednesday sale. No, sorry. This is Tuesday's. Tuesday's items. One o'clock Tuesday. These items will be available. So I we've got we've done a lot today. We've done a lot. We've got the shipping done, we've got the invoicing done, we got things ready for Tuesday sale and Wednesday sale. I also had taken pictures of the items that I'm going to be selling on Tuesday sale since it's the holiday weekend. I'm gonna take the rest of the weekend off and I won't be back here until Tuesday. So I'm gonna have to a couple we're gonna have a couple days off. Yay! Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. Thank you guys so much. I just kind of wanted to take a little bit of time at the end of this video and just say thank you. Just say thank you to you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting on the videos. Thank you for the thumbs ups. Thank you for all of your love and support coming to the sales, you know, supporting my channel, supporting this community in general. Just thank you. I really, really appreciate it. This has been an amazing year, and I would not be able to do what I'm doing right now if it weren't for you and all of your love and support. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for all of your love and support. I'm looking forward to 2022 and all of the adventures that we will have in this upcoming year. I hope that you will join along with me. We have a lot of things a lot of fun things that are going to be happening. So I hope that you will come along for with us along for the ride. So if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. So you'll be notified when I um, upload a new video or go live and have a very merry, wonderful, happy, joyful, relaxing holiday season. And I will see you on Tuesday. Bye guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas!